Heights, 102.7, KISS FM. I want to get to Ryan's Roses right now. Uh, dear Ryan and Sissy, my husband has a super unique leather Lakers jacket. I've never seen it anywhere on anyone else. It is a one-of-a-kind jacket. I was driving down Imperial Highway and saw him coming out of a motel. I could not stop, so I called him on his cell phone and went straight to voicemail. I then confronted him. He said it wasn't him. She says, I know it was him. I actually have a picture of the jacket. Let me bring in Rachel. Rachel, uh, thanks for coming on. Just to know a little bit about this jacket. Where did it come from? Why is it so unique? I see it. I'm looking at a photo of it. Yeah, so he got it at like some sort of thrift shop like a long time ago. So there's there's no one else who has this one. And what were you doing in the area where you saw him? So I, I had just been running some errands, but I was driving down Imperial Highway and I was at like Imperial Highway and Pioneer in Norwalk, okay? And but when you're sitting at the light there, you can see the Motel 6 and that's when I absolutely saw him walk out of one of those rooms. And like, I couldn't stop because there was traffic obviously and like whatever. And he insists it's not him, but like, you're looking at that jacket. There is no one else who has a jacket like that. I know what my husband looks like. All right, so if we put two and two together, you think he was in a, a motel room with another woman and is denying it? Well, Yes, because there's more. So that night, I did go through his phone and I found some text with someone named Carly. Okay, and it's just like some hearts back and forth and the occasional like thinking about you. But I started mm -hmm. wondering if maybe it's some sort of like code. So when she gets a heart, she knows to go to the motel. Mm -hmm. I, I, Okay. He doesn't so know he, that I've been in his phone, and I have no idea who Carly is. Okay. All right. We are going to Rachel and Santa Fe Springs. How long have you been married? We've been married five years. Hold on one second. We are going to call her husband. SFM. You're just in time if you want to hear the Ryan's Roses call. We have got Rachel on the line. She saw her husband coming out of a motel when she was driving down Imperial Highway. How did she know it was her husband who denied it was him? There's a very unique Lakers jacket he has, and she saw that jacket. He says no. She goes on to investigate and finds out there are some texts from a woman named Carly in his phone, and hearts are attached to those texts. So if we are to add all of the clues up here, hmm. he's lying about being in the motel, and this other woman could be named Carly. Okay. Rachel Santa Fe Springs, married five years. Rachel. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your husband's name on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Right, we're going to do that now. Be very quiet until we find out who he sends the roses to and why. Good luck, Rachel. Mm. Thank you. Hi, can I speak to Josh, please? Uh, yeah, this is Josh. Hi, Josh. My name is Emily. I'm calling from Santa Fe Springs Flowers. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. Uh, you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Actually, we're doing a promotion um, offering local residents a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like today. They are free. Just trying to promote our business. And we just ask that if you like the arrangements, you refer to friends and family or come back as a returning customer one day. But I don't need any cash from you or anything like that. Just the name of the person you want to send the flowers to and a note. Is that something you'd be interested in? Uh, I mean, I don't really understand. I, I get free roses? Yeah, it's a dozen red roses. And we do this promotion about once a month. Today you've been selected. So we just need the name of the person you want to send them to and a note. Uh, uh, okay, but why did my number come up? You may have purchased something online in the past 18 months and selected to receive promotional offers from local vendors. That's how we get our database. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's cool. Sounds good. Great. Uh, who would you like to send roses to? Uh, I would like to send them to my wife, Rachel. Right. And what would you like to put on the card? Uh, just say, I love you so much, and I know you're going to be the best mom ever. Okay. Josh, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Congratulations. We have your wife rachel on the line are you expecting rachel 
Yes, this is going to be our first child. Oh, that's great. Well, here we are. Josh, good news. Congratulations. <laughs> Just stay on the phone with us. Your voice is being broadcast. Rachel oh. has reached out to us because she was concerned. She thinks she spotted you coming out of a motel with another woman. Oh, when I, okay, so I... When I say the name Carly, what do you think about? Carly? Like, I mean, I, I have a friend named Carly, but that's... What do I think about? Like, why? Yeah. I, don't, I don't understand. She believes that you are cheating on her with Carly. You were at the motel. She's seen text messages. What's going on, Josh? What? Uh, no, no. I, absolutely not. What's going on I'm with Carly? Uh, look, this, this, this isn't about Carly, okay? Carly is Todd's wife. Okay, well, why were you in a motel with her? I wasn't in the motel, okay? That wasn't me. Okay, do you have a Lakers jacket? It's got all kinds of patchwork on it. And do you have a thigh that's tattooed? Yes, I got a very, very... Ultra? Yeah, I mean, that's me, but that wasn't me at the motel. I'm just looking at a picture of you. Okay, well, maybe with... he wasn't drinking the Nicola Ultra coming out of the motel. Well, I'm just, I just want to make sure I'm talking about the same guy. I'm looking at a photo that Rachel sent to me of him in the jacket. And he's got... It's a very unique... I've never seen a Lakers jacket like that. I mean, it's a hodgepodge of different things on the jacket. Uh, so, Rachel, what do you think? I mean, right, you, you told me, Rachel, no one else has that jacket. You're sure it was him, but he denies it. Well, I'm just, I'm starting to get a little confused because if, if Carly is Todd's wife, like he said, I, I know who Todd is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what do you, we, we're at a loss. I, what do you make of it? Do you think he's lying to you? Do you think it was him at the motel? Do you think he's with Todd's wife? What do you think? Well, I guess. Just, Josh, why are you texting Carly? Like, why? just explain that. So, I text Carly every year because she's Todd's wife. Todd's my friend who passed away. And every year on his birthday and on the anniversary he dies and on their wedding anniversary, any day that I know that she's struggling, I check in. <sighs> How come you don't communicate this to your wife so that she's aware that you do this? Well, I, well how am I the one who has to communicate? This should be obvious. I'm just checking in with one of my best friends' widow, and I don't understand why so, you would assume that I was Josh, cheating on you. Josh, yeah. were you at this motel on Imperial Highway? No, I was not on the hotel on Imperial so, Highway. That so, jacket is amazing. People have that. So, Rachel, is it possible that someone else has the jacket? But look, I, I I said Rachel, I said you, you're you're going to have my baby. I love you so much. I literally just checked in with Carly because I know how big of a loss losing Todd was. And so, and that jacket, you guys call it gross. It's an amazing jacket. People have that. No, it's no, not gross. Don't say gross. It's got a lot going on. Anything about the no, it's got a lot going on. Who said gross? That's well, nobody, said gross. gross. nobody said that. Well, he's uh, a hodgepodge of design. Well, hodgepodge. It's got a bunch of different patchwork on. like Hodgepodge, patches. mosaic. Yeah, mosaic, patch. I, um, anyway, listen, I Rachel, Josh, like... we, are, we are not going to go further here. Rachel, we've done everything we can. I, I don't know, Josh. I don't know Todd's widow situation. We're going to let it go at that. I mean, you've gotten a lot of raw feedback here, uh, and we wish you the best of luck, but it sounds like it's very sensitive. So I, I...